Hi folks, it's Steph here from MakeLights. Uh, we had a question come in from one of the members in the community uh, this week that I thought would be a really good subject for a video. It's all about your unique selling point, uh, which is a concept that's been around for a long time and it's something that if you've done anything in business or in any kind of way to do with branding and design, you'll know that it's, it's a theme that comes up time and time again. Your unique selling point is something that any business should be considering and it's a lot easier for people who work in industries that aren't in the creative fields uh, to come up with. Um, if you take an extreme example, a unique selling point is uh, something that uh, it is only that you have access to that differentiates you and your business, your practice, uh, from between you and anyone else in the world. It's completely unique to you and no one else can uh, get anywhere near what you're up to. Um, in the past, it's usually something that comes about because you have access to a patent. In some way, you've invented something or created a brand new uh, piece of technology or a material or a business process, something that's absolutely unique that's come about because you've done lots of research and development, invented something and then registered a patent that means that only you and your business are allowed to exploit that idea commercially, which is brilliant. It's been around for a long time and well, you can <laughs> it might not be so brilliant depending on where you, where you come from because in the world of software, actually it can cause you some problems. But let's just say that's a really great way of differentiating yourself and your business from others because if you have a patent, then only you are allowed to uh, take that idea and then sell it to other people because it's uniquely registered for you and nobody else. So that's that's a br brilliant way of setting up a business that uh, enables you to set up uh, a, a trade that gives you a kind of unfair advantage against anyone else who's trying to do the same thing as you. So if you think about that historically, that made a lot of sense. Um, but nowadays the world is very different. And in the online world, particularly in uh, the kinds of businesses and, and uh, projects that people get involved in in the make like community, they're mostly creative businesses and creative uh, outputs in the world. And it's very difficult if you're sitting there over dinner with an older relative who says to you, oh, I heard you're doing a, a new business. What's your unique selling point? Expecting you to roll it off your, the top of your tongue and give them a very coherent answer as to why you're completely different to everybody else in the world. And the thing is, nowadays, I'm not so sure that the unique selling point is necessarily something that you should get hung up on if you're working in the creative sphere. Because actually, if you think about it, your interests are probably quite varied. There's lots of different factors and references, trends, themes, colours and ideas that all go into what makes you and your uh, business or your project different from those around you. And often you share things and you share those trends and themes with other similar competitors who kind of operate around you. And you'll, you'll know, you know these folk, they, they always pop up and down. And you think, oh gosh, there's not that one again um, doing the same thing as me. Gosh, I better just change up and do something a bit more um, in this direction to get, a, to get a bit of room between me and that other brand. And actually what happens is these kind of creative brands bubble up and down um, and they occupy these kind of territories territories of ideas and territories of overlapping themes and differentiators. So nowadays, as a creative entrepreneur, a creative business owner, sitting there thinking or trying to think about something that makes you absolutely, utterly unique can actually be a bit of a mistake because really, if you tie yourself to a set of themes that are growing and, and, and bubbling up, then you'll rise up as they develop and grow. Whereas if you have something completely unique on the side, well, it might it might be something that's that's great, but how do you know whether that's going to be of great appeal to lots of people? If you bed yourself in in lots of trends that are emerging and growing, then necessarily you're going to be in the middle of uh, consideration uh, when anybody is thinking about who's who's a business that operates in, in that particular world. So the unique selling point is something to have in the back of your mind, like, oh, it's a good idea to have something that differentiates you quite clearly between you and your competitors, but actually you want a bit of frenemy in there as well. You want, you want some people who definitely overlap with you and then you're subtly different because you're over on this side. So really, the way that we um, think about this in the make light uh, community is um, uh, about establishing a kind of core set of principles that you stand for, some themes and trends that are what you're all about. And on our Bloom course that we run, um, it's all about 
delving into what makes you who you are, makes your brand what it is, and then establishing those things, the kind of core principles that are very long term. They're not just kind of these fly by night uh, campaign type ideas or a hashtag that you're running at the moment. It's the real core set of principles that really make you what you are. And those principles are probably what the, the big differentiators are. If you think about any kind of successful designer uh, or fashion designer or filmmaker, it's not necessarily that they have anything particularly unique in the way they go about what they do. I mean, they might come up with something or invent something along the way. But generally, it's a very personality based, creative uh, output based business model. And the differentiator, I know this is going to annoy some of the uh, you know, folks around the dinner table if you bring this up as your answer to that, what's your USP question? Well, if you're a designer, then your differentiator, your unique selling point is that it's you. There's only you in the world. There's only one person um, who represents you. That's your, that's your uniqueness. And so your view on the world and your ideas and themes and influences are your USP. It just sounds a little bit weak when you, when you, when you tell people um, uh, about that. So I, get, I guess getting a bit comfortable about that is, is important. Uh, in my work, uh, I've, I've worked with um, companies big and small over the years. And um, I remember working with Vivian Westwood's company for a you know, good six or seven years. And what we did there was I, I really made, um, got, I got an understanding of, of what it was all about. Um, because Vivian Westwood has this kind of individual unique take on the world that spreads through everything that she puts out in in all of her work in all of her design work and fashion work the campaigning that she does and I think that that is the essence of what we try to teach on the bloom course because it's all about establishing what you stand for and making that echo through everything that you do and so the uniqueness part is about a kind of voice and a brand representation of that rather than a kind of new technology or something absolutely uh, uh, novel around a business process that means you're very heavily differentiated to others and this is something you really you have to kind of get your head around when you're, when you're thinking about what makes you unique because if you get it right and you start to understand how you st stand apart from others then you can double down on it and gather a, a really strong community around you doing that thing that you are and um, that you represent. So that's a little thing I thought was a good conversation starter for today and we'll be talking about it in the Make Like Community Facebook group. If you want to pop in and join in the chat, we'll be in there uh, and we often have live Q&A sessions where we discuss these kinds of things. It's all about helping everybody in the Make Like Community grow as a creative business or as a creative entrepreneur or maker. And so these are the kinds of things we get into and I really would love you to pop over and have a, a join in the discussion uh, to see if we can kind of tease this out on whether there is something to be done around uh, defining your uniqueness and working out how to communicate that and getting comfortable that maybe there isn't a unique selling point under the hood. Looking forward to the comments and chat. See you in the group. Mm -hmm.